Hi and welcome to week 25 of economics. So this week we're going to have a comprehensive exploration of several pivotal topics that underpin the functioning of modern economies. Uh, we will begin with analyzing the impact of debt on the economy. So debt is a fundamental aspect of economic activity permeating through various sectors such as governments, households, and corporations. Understanding its impact on the economy is crucial. Excessive debt levels can lead to financial instability, as seen in the aftermath of the 2008 financial crisis. We'll delve into the mechanisms through which debt influences economic dynamics, examining its effects on investment, consumption, and overall economic growth. Additionally, We'll discuss strategies for managing and reducing debt burdens to ensure long-term economic sustainability. We'll then move on to talking about the money creation process. So money creation lies at the heart of, modern, of the modern financial system, yet it's often shrouded in mystery for many. We'll demystify this process by exploring the roles of central banks, commercial banks, and the fractional reserve banking system. Through detailed analysis, will gain insight into how new money is brought into circulation and its impact on inflation, interest rates, and overall economic stability. Understanding the, mechani the mechanics of money creation is essential for comprehending the functioning of monetary policy and its implications for the broader economy. Next, we're going to be analyzing the factors that lead the Fed, that is shorthand for the Federal Reserve, to increase the money supply. So the Federal Reserve, as the central bank of the US, plays a pivotal role in managing the nation's monetary policy. We'll analyze the myriad of factors that inform the Fed's decision to increase the money supply. These factors include, but are not limited to, economic indicators such as inflation, unemployment, and GDP growth, as well as external influences such as international trade and financial market conditions. Through rigorous examination, we'll be able to develop a nuanced understanding of how the Fed's actions uh, impact the broader economy and contribute to achieving macroeconomic stability. So, topic four, we'll look at how an expanded money supply can have far-reaching implications for economic activity and financial markets. We'll explore how changes in the money supply influence key economic variables, such as interest rates, investment, consumption, and aggregate demand. Additionally, we'll, example, we'll examine the transmission mechanisms through which monetary policy affects asset prices, including stocks, bonds, and real estate. By comprehensively analyzing these effects, you'll gain a deeper understanding of how mon monetary policy decisions shape the trajectory of economic growth and inflation. Finally, we'll end the week by identifying possible unintended consequences of increasing the money supply. So while increasing the, the money supply can serve as a potent tool for stimulating economic activity, it also carries potential risks and unintended consequences. These include inflationary pressures, asset bubbles, and currency depreciation, which can undermine long-term economic stability. We'll critically examine historical examples and theoretical frameworks to identify these unintended consequences and discuss strategies for mitigating associated risks. So by understanding the trade-offs <clears throat> inherent in money, monetary policy decisions, we'll be, a, we'll be better equipped to navigate the complexities of macroeconomic management. So that's it for, the, for next week. That's what you can expect. Um, so we're going to deepen our understanding of debt dynamics, money creation processes, monetary policy frameworks, and their profound implications for economic outcomes. So thank you for following so far, and I look forward to seeing you and working with you all in class. Thank you.